And away from health, the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, is encouraging the new management of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE, to promote the training of more female engineers in the country to develop inclusive solutions. Director General of the NTA, Salu Abdul Hamid Dembos, gave this challenge to the new NSC president, Margaret Ogutala, as she paid a cut to visit. Justin Bemui reports. Margaret Aina Oguntola, the 34th president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSC, happens to be the first female to occupy the seat in its 65 years of existence. This is our first visit to the NTA since her emergence as the president of the NSC. She comes with a focus on re-imaging and rebranding the society. She appreciates the long-standing relationship, support and partnership the NSC has gotten from the NTA, soliciting for more, and wants the NTA to key into NSC's development programs for professional development to be abreast with emerging technologies. I want to urge you to please encourage even more of your members to not just join or come to conference every year, but like Esther Alushi, also participate effectively in the activities of the NSE. During your tenure as president of NSE, you may wish to look into policies that will promote the education of more female engineers and their subsequent recruitment. You may also need to pay close attention to the issue of frequent building uh, collapses due to non-adherence to standards or engagement of non-professionals in the building industry. After a successful election, Margaret Aino Oguntala took over the presidency from Tassiu Saad Gidari Wudil, whose tenure elapsed on the 21st day of December 2023. Tenure for the NSC presidency lasts for two years. Justin Bemunyi, NTA News.